Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Ahmad Sharafat, who is the chairman of the ITUD Study Group 2, as well as being advisor to the Minister for the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Dr. Sharafat, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. My pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that, uh, Dr. Sharafat, you led a group of renowned experts for the production of the ITU report on ICTs for Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you, there are several studies and debates on how ICTs are key enablers for economic growth and innovation. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the main outcomes of this study and how, in your opinion, it's added to the value of existing discussions and its contribution, of course, to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, let me uh, take you back a little bit uh, uh, to the background of uh, this study. Uh, prior to uh, the turn of the century, uh, the world leaders uh, recognized that there is a need uh, to uh, properly and effectively address some of the main uh, and important problems that uh, humanity is facing. And so they developed uh, the uh, Millennium Development Goals, uh, also known as MDGs. Uh, the uh, uh, Millennium Development Goals were uh, set uh, for the period between 2000 and 2015. And as we approached uh, the end of this period, the world leaders recognized that uh, uh, more serious problems uh, are present and uh, uh, there is uh, an actual need uh, to uh, draw the attention of the world community uh, to these issues and to these problems. And uh, in their wisdom, they identified 17 uh, sustainable development goals and 169 activities uh, that goes with these uh, 17 uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Um, what we are doing uh, in the ITU is uh, actually to uh, uh, concentrate uh, 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 the efforts and the attention uh, that uh, ICT plays an ever-increasing important role in uh, achieving uh, the uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Um, nevertheless, uh, the existing literature uh, and the existing uh, work on uh, the sustainable development goals, and in particular, the role of ICTs in sustainable development goals have gone mostly uh, on describing uh, how good ICT could be. Uh, what sets our work s uh, apart from the existing work is that we try first to focus uh, on the need for sustainability. Sustainability uh, should not be taken for granted. Uh, it has its own costs, it has its own requirements, and uh, we are trying to identify what uh, needs to be done uh, in the background in order to achieve uh, and attain the sustainable, the sustainable development goals. So in this respect, uh, first we are focusing on the need for sustainability, identifying uh, what are the important elements uh, that ensure sustainability. Uh, and also um, chart the way forward uh, to identify specific action areas uh, that uh, require the attention uh, of in different uh, stakeholders, uh, not only in the ICT sector, but uh, uh, in other sectors as well. So uh, the first distinguishing factor in our work is that it identifies uh, that there is a need for action and we identify what some of the important actions uh, that are critically important in achieving uh, the sustainable development goals through the application of ICTs. We identify those uh, uh, action areas. Uh, and uh, the second point that uh, we are also focusing uh, is that uh, in, in doing so, uh, we uh, need to have a, a joint effort. It is not just the ICT sector. It is uh, a multi-sectoral, multi-players uh, 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 type of activity uh, that we are focusing on and uh, in doing so we would be, uh, you know, drawing the attention of the world leader, the world community, uh, that uh, it is not only uh, good 
uh, to identify and to emphasize the importance of sustainability. <coughs> but uh, uh, we also need to take action and we try to identify what those actions are. Now this year we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ITU development sector, uh, of which you're very familiar with, I'm sure. And uh, the ICT landscape has obviously changed tremendously in these past decades. Um, I really wanted to find out from you, how do you think this, this study on ICT for SDGs will contribute to responding to many of today's challenges? Well, I think uh, <coughs> the existing landscape uh, provides uh, an enormous opportunity to put into practice uh, some of the novel ideas um, uh, that uh, are essential in uh, uh, forming and shaping the future. Uh, we are focusing on uh, the need for uh, uh, bringing in more innovative approaches. Uh, and in doing so, we are identifying what needs to be done by different stakeholders to facilitate an environment of innovation. Uh, that's uh, one of the key areas of the work that we're doing. The other is that we are also recognizing that uh, uh, ICTs uh, can, be, uh, can play a key role in creating jobs. Uh, job creation is an important and ever-increasing uh, subject uh, in the world, uh, not only in developing countries, but also in developed world as well. And uh, we, uh, one of the uh, objectives of this study is uh, to address this uh, uh, need for creating new jobs. In, in, in order to achieve this, we recognize that uh, uh, we need, again, to uh, take specific actions. We need to uh, revise uh, the uh, curricula in our educational system. We need to um, create, as I said, an environment uh, in which uh, innovation would be facilitated and encouraged. So these are the new uh, elements that we are um, trying to address. Of course, uh, the technical landscape uh, is uh, uh, very uh, fluid and developing very uh, quickly. Uh, there are specific areas that look very promising, uh, to name a few, uh, the Internet of Things or Internet of Everything, uh, the um, big data analytics, uh, the fifth generation networks, uh, and also cloud computing are some of the items that uh, can contribute to the advancement of uh, many of the uh, uh, um, objectives of uh, humanity and, uh, and uh, the world at large. And uh, we would try to uh, identify what needs to be done in order to provide uh, an environment in which um, uh, a harmonious and forward-looking environment is being created. Now, the Islamic Republic of Iran obviously takes uh, ICTs very seriously. You have a Ministry of Information and Communication Technologies. I know this report is obviously looking at uh, this, the, the r elements that have been uh, going on over the last uh, decades, essentially, but also looking at best practices as well. Are these some which are you already implementing in, in Iran, or are, are they some that you'll be taking on board and looking to uh, implement in the future? Uh, this uh, subject is, of course, in, is, uh, an evolving one. Uh, it is developing uh, day by day, uh, but in Iran we are uh, keen on taking uh, the, uh, 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 the experiences of other countries and also uh, taking into account some of the requirements that are specific to uh, countries and to regions even. And so uh, I, I think uh, we are uh, uh, immensely uh, uh, putting into uh, practice some of the uh, uh, notions that we have developed throughout developing uh, this report and this study and we will continue to do that in future. Now there are a number of studies that are obviously have already come out. How do you think this one will differ from the others? As I said, uh, the uh, existing studies uh, are mostly of descriptive nature. They uh, describe how good ICTs can be uh, they describe uh, what uh, 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 are the objectives, but they are not very specific on what needs to be done in order to achieve those objectives. And the difference between this study and the other work is that uh, we are focusing on specific actions and identify those for different stakeholders. Were you involved in any specific topic in uh, this study, or were you, uh, are you uh, been involved in, in an all-round in, in the production of it? No, I was involved from the very beginning, and uh, 
uh, the overall uh, structure of the report. Um, I'm uh, writing uh, the first chapter, which uh, guides the other chapter and, uh, and provides uh, an introduction into the subject and, and describes the rationale for, for this report. But uh, I'm also uh, working closely with uh, the authors responsible for the other chapter to make sure that uh, it is in line with the expectations that uh, was uh, discussed in uh, our previous meeting. Well, I'm sure we've got very high expectations for it. I'm, I'm sure we won't be disappointed. Many thanks indeed for your contribution to the, the study, but also for your presence in the studio today. Thank you very much. Thank you.